for the past month, I have been on a mission. A mission that started with just an idea and a blank screen. Day and night, I poured my heart and soul into lines of code fueled by the determination of what it could be. There are moments of doubt, moments where I didn't feel like coding anymore, but I kept pushing, driven by that belief that this could be something special. And now after countless hours of coding, testing, and refining, I'm ready to unveil what I have created. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to present to you chatbuild.io. In this video, we're gonna go over what I created, why I created it, how I created it, what am I gonna do for marketing going forward and what I'm currently doing, and how many customers do I have at the moment. So if this sounds interesting to you guys, hit that like button so more people just like you can see this video, and also subscribe if you want more content just like this. But other than that, let's jump right into it. What is chatbuild.io? So as you can see, I am on the homepage of the software I created and what is our software and what does it do? So we allow anybody, even with no coding experience, to create AI custom chatbots in just a few minutes. And these custom chatbots will be trained on the data points that you provide it. And this could be in the form of a PDF, a CSV file, URL links, or even sitemaps. And the great thing about this is it makes your chatbot even that much powerful if it's trained on your data points. We do offer a 14 day free trial as well. There's no credit card required, so it's literally risk free and you could try the chatbot out. Also too, you're probably wondering how does the chatbot look on my website? Well, if you look at the bottom right of my screen, that is how it's gonna look. It is a widget. And this widget is pretty universal if you go anywhere on the web. You're gonna see some websites that have chatbots, some that don't, but they do. They usually have a widget at the bottom right where you can open this widget and you can start communicating with the chatbot. And what our widget uses is the OpenAI Open AI API. And that is how we're able to access the technology of AI. And what we can do is we could say, Mike in your name. And then now we can start communicating with the chatbot back and forth that is trained on your data point. So that is, in a nutshell, what Chatbuild does. Now let's go over some of the UI and the website. So as you can see, we have our homepage here. We scroll down, pretty simple, pretty modern as well. Very easy to read and understand. We have a feature section that goes over the features that you get when you become a paid user or if you're on the free trial. One of the best features we have is to view your chatbot history. This allows you to see the history between your chatbot and your website visitors. And this will help you to train your chatbot and optimize it in an even better way. Another is to train your chatbot like we already went over. And it is highly customizable, which means the UI of the chatbot is easily able to be customized to your brand identity. So if your website has orange in it and you want the same orange, you can do that. You could also upload your logo. You could just make the chatbot and the widget match your brand and your website of how you want it. And it's very easy to do. Also too, we have a demo page which allows you to test out the chatbot. So you can test that right here. And this will answer questions based on chat build if you're on the demo page. We also have a pricing page. This is our pricing plans with a few FAQs. We also have a blog, and this blog has a few blog posts on how you can integrate the chatbot, how you can create a chatbot, just stuff like that, helpful, useful information. Okay, so those are our main pages when it comes to if you don't have an account. Next thing you have to do is you have to create an account if you wanna access other pages. So what I'm gonna do is you can log in or sign up depending if you have an account or not. I'm gonna log in. And you can also log in with your Google provider if need be. And I am logged in and as you can see, it takes me directly to the dashboard page. So the dashboard page gives me an overview of my account. It tells me how many total files I've uploaded to the chatbot, also links and messages used. Cause you only get so many messages per plan. And on the free plan, you get a thousand messages. 
So that's the free plan. And then obviously the higher tier plans, you get more messages. But this is pretty much the back end. Let me move myself real quick over to the other side. And as you can see, you got a bunch of different tab tabs where you could pretty much create your chatbot, edit your chatbot, how to install your chatbot, the playground if you want to test your chatbot out. Also, you can do the chat history. You have your knowledge base. That is where you could pretty much give knowledge to your chatbot and train it on your own data. And then you have your dashboard and settings page. So that is what chatbuild.io is. And if you are interested, like I said, we do offer a 14 day free trial, no credit card required, and you can test out on your website risk-free. Okay, so I wanna go over why I decided to build chatbuild.io in this specific niche instead of building another SaaS product out there where there's thousands of other choices. So first I wanna go over the backstory of how this started. I have a YouTube channel. As you can see, you're probably watching on my YouTube channel. And I wanted to make a live series of me being live streamed of creating a SaaS from scratch and then building it up. I ended up going live 11 separate times, a few hours each time. And obviously people joined, people got connected with me. It was good meeting people. And then somebody actually joined and helped me build this as well. So it almost became a, it became a partnership and we decided it would be better to build chat build in private instead of on live stream for a few reasons. And that's because to get more work done efficiently instead of dealing with the chat and live chat and then building this as well, it's just better to build it in private. That was the main reason. And then obviously it is a lot of effort to go live every night and record yourself and then code as well at the same time. So we decided to take this in private and build this in the back. And it took us about an extra month after all the live streams went to actually make chat build what it is today. And the reason why I decided to choose this specific niche is because one, there is competition and two, it is a reoccurring monthly business model. So let's go over point number one, there's competition. So you might be thinking if there's competition, I don't want to build something and compete with a lot of people. That could be one mindset, but my mindset is if there's competition, that means there's demand. Like people aren't building a AI chat builder if there's no demand and there's no market out there. So if there's demand, there's always a piece of the pie that you can take as long as you build a better product than your competition. So whenever I see somebody in a bunch of different competitors building AI chat builders, I want to get in that niche and I want to make the best product and software that I can for those customers. So that is why I try to go towards competition and not stray away from it. And then number two is the reoccurring monthly business model. So that means every month they have to pay to use chatbuild.io. And there's a few reasons why it's on the monthly plan. And the main one is the API calls cost us money. So we have to charge them monthly. And this is a great business model, especially if you're the owner, obviously, because there's consistent cash flow and cash flow is king when it comes to business. So it is a no brainer to create a monthly reoccurring online business model when you're in the SaaS industry. Okay, so how did I create chatbuild.io? So for me, I'm using Next.js, which is a framework on top of React. It's a full stack framework that does both client and server side rendering with a front end and a back end. If you guys are just starting out and you guys want to build a SaaS quick and validate your idea, I recommend using no code builders or you guys could build a wait list before you even create the product to see if you get any traction on it. The only downfall and caveat when it comes to this is if you don't have a following on social media, it's going to be hard to actually validate an idea because you're not going to have enough eyeballs on your wait list or your idea that you're trying to validate. So if it was me and I didn't have any coding experience, I would try to pick up a no code builder and start like that. And like I said, look for competition. You do not want to be the first one in a new niche when it comes to building a SaaS software product. Make sure there's competition because that would actually validate your idea that there is demand out there and this will be able to allow you to create that SaaS. But let's go to my screen real quick. And what I use is I use Visual, Visual Studio Code, which is a text editor. And I am coding in TypeScript. Like I said, I'm using Next.js as the framework. I'm also using a 
bunch of other things like Shatsian for the components, Stripe's API, we're using OpenAI's API. We're also using Prism for the ORM, MongoDB for the database. We're using NextAuth for the authentication. I mean, we have a lot of things we're using in this project. This, like I said, was between two developers and this took us about a month or so to create pretty much coding every single night for at least three to four hours a night. And if you don't know anything about coding, all of this might seem foreign to you. Like I said, use a no code builder if you're trying to build the SaaS of your dreams. But this is how I created chatbuild.io and this was through all of the code. And in the next week or so, I'm also gonna go live and I'm gonna answer questions on any questions you guys have about the code because this GitHub repository of the code is not public. It is a private GitHub repo, so you're not gonna be able to see it. So I recommend joining that live. So make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys are notified when I do go live. And I'll also probably create a more in detailed video of how I created it as well. But this video is just an overview of chatbuild.io and the process of my brain behind the scenes. Okay, so let's go over marketing, which I feel like is the most important part when it comes to a SaaS. So I wanna go over the five methods that we are going to use for chatbuild.io. Four of them are organic, and one of them is a paid way, which is paid advertising of doing marketing online. And one thing you wanna take into consideration when doing marketing is what are you offering? And depending on what you're offering, you have to determine if you're a B2B business, which is business to business, or a B2C business. So whatever your product is for, if it's for a customer or business, determine that, and then you gotta base your marketing techniques off of that information. So let me go into my screen real quick and share with you the five methods that you can use for building a SaaS. So number one is the BBB.org. This is the Better Business Bureau. It is a government website from the US. It pretty much has a business directory of all businesses in the US. And this is a great way to find businesses in a simplified manner. And why do you wanna find businesses? It's because you need leads. And every time you find a business, they usually have their email on their website. So all you have to do is get their email and then email them and pitch them through a cold email your SaaS. So for chatbell.io, every business could have an AI chatbot on their website. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna email businesses like plumbing companies, apartment complexes, restaurants, and we're gonna email them seeing if they need a chatbot on their website. And this is a numbers game. So you can't just email five, 10 people a day. You have to email, I say minimum, at least 50 a day. So this is strategy number one. Strategy number two is to launch on product hunt. Product Hunt is like an indie hacker website. This is where a lot of people launch SaaSes. It is free to launch a SaaS product and it gives you also a backlink for SEO purposes for your product. So there's people that have successful launches and then obviously people who don't have successful launches. But I definitely recommend launching your product on Product Hunt and you could also check out other people's SaaS is here as well to get ideas if you're still in the idea phase of building a SaaS. Okay, third option is Twitter. So Twitter is a great way to market your product and the main thing you want to do is you want to be active in your community. And your community, you have to find the community that is related to your product or service. And you can still tweet. I still recommend tweeting once, twice a day, but make sure you're actually responding with quality, um, genuine information. Like actually be genuine with people and don't just pitch your product. And what this is gonna do is when you start interacting with people, they're organically gonna to go to your profile. And when they do this, make sure your profile is optimized. So you have a nice head, like a nice profile image nice background image. Also to make sure you have the link to your actual SaaS product in your bio as well, so they could click it. Number four is almost similar, it is be a part of a Reddit community and make sure you answer questions in here that are related to your product. So for example, this thread is, is there a free AI chatbot? And for me, I could answer a question like this and say, yes, I know a great AI chatbot, it is chatbuild.io that offers a 14 day free trial. 
So Reddit is another great way to market. And the last way to market your SaaS can be through meta ads, which is Facebook ads. And Facebook ads are paid, so you can pay anywhere from $5 a day all the way up to thousands of dollars a day. And I only recommend doing this after you've done the organic way and if only you don't mind losing money. So at the beginning, you're gonna have to do a bunch of testing when it comes to finding your audience and the right product fit. So at the beginning, I can almost guarantee you you're gonna be spending money and not getting any return from it. But you have to be patient, you have to make sure you analyze your metrics and then adjust your ad accordingly based on the metrics you receive. So this, these things are the five ways I feel like you should ha try to market your SaaS product. And the, obviously there's a lot more ways you can market them, but I just wanna give you five ones that I thought are very important for this video. Okay, now for maybe what some of you came for the video is how much are we making from chatbuild.io? So let me give some background context before we get started. We spent about a month, month and a half building chatbuild and we just pretty much officially launched the first version of it maybe a week ago or so. And we haven't done any marketing yet, but like I said, we just started a few days ago. So that is the background of what we've had. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign into my Stripe account right now, and I'm gonna show you the results. So let's go to my screen. And as you can see the results, I'm gonna have to blur out all the emails so you guys don't see it, but it shows $0 spent from all these customers. And you're probably like, how are they spending $0? Well, remember we offer a 14 day free trial, no credit card required. So we've had about 18 people sign up for the free trial. That means they were able to build a chatbot and integrate it on their website. And they have 14 days free but we've actually had nobody convert yet. And most of our traffic is from my audience that I've built through YouTube, either that's through my Discord group or my YouTube channel or Twitter. But that is the only marketing things that we have done so far for the past two, three, four, five days. And we were able to get 18 people to try out chapel.io, but nobody has taken the leap to sign up. So there could be a few things that we can fix. We could obviously test a few things out. I would like to hear your recommendations on this point. But I've heard people say, hey, don't even offer a 14 day free trial. This weeds out the less qualified leads, which can be true. Or you offer a 14 day free trial and you collect the credit card before they can even get the 14 day free trial. So when the 14 days are up, it automatically charges their card. So there's multiple ways you can go at this process. But for us, we tried the 14 day free trial, no credit card required. And then we're sending them an email three days in advance of when their account will be paused. And then we're also sending them an email the day their account gets paused to remind them to, hey, update your card if you wanna keep continuing using chapo.io on the pro plan. Okay, so that is what we're making, we are making $0 MRR right now, which is monthly recurring revenue. Um, it was expected, and obviously, like I said, don't go into a product sad if it's not going how you want. What you need to do is you need to work harder. So that is chatbuild.io in a nutshell. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this video. If you guys have any questions about a SaaS or any SaaS questions in general, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I will answer these within usually 24 hours. So please leave a comment if you have a question. And if you guys think I should have added anything else to the video, also leave it in the comment section. But other than that, hope you guys are successful in your SaaS. And again, remember, leave a like, also subscribe for more content just like this and turn on that notification bell because when I go live to show you how I made the SAS, you're not gonna wanna miss it. So again, thank you guys and hope you guys have a good day.